Okay, I'm here with actor Vanda Bhatt, who is currently starring on New Amsterdam. Uh, he recurs on the series, which is on Tuesday nights at 10 o'clock on NBC. Uh, why don't you talk a little bit about when you decided you wanted to be an actor and what steps you took and, you know, did you go to school for it? Uh, I started acting in high school. My mm -hmm. first time I actually tried it was in high school. And yeah, I went to college for acting mm -hmm. as well. I went to University of Central Florida for acting. Go UCF. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I suppose my first time trying it out was like really trying it out was in high school. Uh, but I, I've grown up with films and, you know, had like little stints here and there, but nothing like regular. Like really wanted to study started in high school. Okay. and. Um when you were in college, did you work on any student films, or were you just honing your craft? Um, a few. Uh, my, my university had a really good film department. It mm -hmm. was a theater conservatory, so we were working mostly plays, which I guess is honing your craft and mm -hmm. studying, uh, studying plays and, and approaching the craft through the prism of theater mostly. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to kind of branch out a little bit, and UCF had a really good film department. Mm -hmm. uh, and also, there's another school around Orlando called Full Sail, uh, and I believe it was like a really good film. And so, I kind of would would try to do some short films here and there, and try to just uh, work as as mm -hmm. much as I can. So just a little bit, but you mentioned you like started out. Fun. Sorry to interrupt no, you. You mentioned no. you started out doing theater in college. Yeah. Uh, what part? of that did you enjoy, now that you're on television, did you enjoy more or less or equal? Was uh, the feedback from the audience, like the immediate gratification, was that something that uh, you enjoyed? I did, uh, but it was also kind of, part of it was also that I I, I had no choice. I mm -hmm. mean, that was a theater, theater right. program, so we went around studying uh, theater, and it was my first like um, foray into acting, and, and and most of the actors, all the actors that I admire, um, most of them have started out in theater. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of a logical uh, thing for me to do. And um, I've done theater for a lot of times. And I do the audience feedback and kind of thing and the intimacy that you have, the immediate connection that you have. That's mm -hmm. something that obviously I love about theater. Uh, but film is it's just different, you know? I mean, I, I mean there's, the film is so intimate, too. Mm -hmm. And there are parts that I love about that as well, especially as I continue to learn more about uh, being in front of the camera and like trying to have these wonderful opportunities to work with some really, really great actors. Like you get to learn so much and I'm, I'm just, I'm really, really enjoying that. So I would say just there's like just different, you know, just different muscles you're using, but the foundation is kind of the same. Mm -hmm. So I'm really, I really enjoy, I'm really enjoying that part. When you graduated from college, what was your first professional gig? When I graduated from college, I spent a summer in Trinidad, Colorado, at the Southern Colorado Repertory Theater. Mm -hmm. I did a summer internship there. And then after that, I went to uh, Cincinnati, Ohio, and I did plays there for about a year and a half. I had like gotten, uh, I had booked some gigs like before graduating college, so it was, I had a year and a half to two years worth of work like lined up. Oh, that's um, great. I mean, a lot of people don't have that, so that yeah, must no, have been good for your it was. state of being and, you know, well, it was good. I mean, I was I was getting the the, the money was very very practically non-existent. But mm -hmm. it was it was just one of those. Um, I think uh, right after right, especially in Florida or places like that, you know, places that aren't like Juilliard or mm -hmm. Yale or anything like that. Uh, we had a requirement that you had to get an internship before you graduated. To graduate, you had to like get an internship, which was a paying one, even mm -hmm. if it was very little. Uh, so you got that, and then in my senior year of college, I went to these uh, theater conferences called. There's like a uh, northeastern theater conference, southeastern theater conference, mm -hmm. where people like theater companies from like southeastern region of the states will come and. It'll be like a grand ballroom, and you audition for like a hundred companies, and mm -hmm. then they have callbacks, and and so this company in Cincinnati, in Ohio, was one of the uh, companies that I felt would was the right like path for me to take. So I chose I chose that one amongst the other ones, and so it, I was I was very lucky and was very grateful to have that stuff lined up. It, it helped me out quite a lot. Once you completed that, did you go to California to try your luck out there, or yeah. did you come right to New York? I came to New York. Yeah, I came to do it. Did you come with the draw of doing theater, or you wanted to try and get your hand in everything? A little bit of both, uh, because 
like I mentioned before that most of the actors I admire uh, had started out in theater. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to, and my training was in theater and everything, you know, and I wanted to kind of uh, come to New York and, and have the opportunity to work in theater while, while kind of pursuing uh, entry into film and television as mm -hmm. well. And I knew that in LA, theater was probably not going to be very, uh, very plentiful opportunities. Right. And plus, at that time, I also had no, I had no illusion that I was going to be like successful right away or anything like that. And I, I was, I knew that I was, uh, I knew that I was going to have financial difficulties mm -hmm. for a while. And and th I remember thinking, I remember thinking about L.A. or New York, and I thought. I was like, I think I can be poor in New York and still be happy. Right. And, and whereas in LA, I just felt like I probably wouldn't be. So I was like, right, let's go to let's go to New York. And, um, that mindset probably helped you uh, not cope, but go through the early days, you know, not oh, getting yeah. discouraged and that kind of thing yeah. because you had a realistic outlook on it. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, I, uh, I mean, obviously, I would have welcomed uh, success. At oh, Norway absolutely. Or anything yeah, like yeah. that. But yeah, I didn't. I just didn't. I wanted to be ready for the long haul, you mm -hmm. know. And and I thought I could be. I could be uh, struggling in New York and still be creatively fulfilled. Right. Like, you know, I can always take a walk or go to a museum mm -hmm. or, or do anything like that. Whereas, and I thought in LA. If I just figured, like, if I don't have money to put gas in my car in L.A., I'm not going anywhere. Right. Worst comes to worst. At that time, you know, like good old days, it was like, what was it, like 250 Two, or yeah. something like that? Not anymore. Not now anymore, you have to have right? a uh, yeah. survival job just to get to I remember, <laughs> man, those are the good old days. I remember when you had the daily unlimited. Remember right. that? Oh, yeah. Like, that was the best. Man. Not anymore. But no, I figured I, <laughs> I figured I was like... Worst comes to worst, it'll take me two fi or five dollars mm -hmm. to go back and forth anywhere, or, or two fifty if I go somewhere I could walk back. Right. And you know, and I thought I could be, I could be happy. Plus, you know, just like I love, I love the city. I yeah. love, and it's, it's it's always been been there for me in ways that I, uh, you know, I couldn't have imagined. So, um, it, yes, it most certainly helped. Long, I mean, and it still does. You know, the mm -hmm. city's always there for me. It helps you cope with so many things, not just career stuff. Now, people watching this interview, um, one of your bigger roles that you landed was uh, last season on Quantico, yeah. but you did not have this beard, so people may not. be wondering. <laughs> That's like, true. Right. He was on Quantico, really? Yeah. Did you know when you were going on to Quantico that you would be on for a certain amount of time, leave, and then come back? No. So you were going episode by episode? Yeah, like more or less. It was like a loose kind of a plan, mm -hmm. but it was, you know, it was anything can happen, right? Like, so, it, no, I did not know. What, what was that experience like working on that show? I know you became uh, pretty close friends with Priyanka Chopra. Yes, right? I love, yeah, Priyanka's yeah. great. No, it was a really good time. I'm good. so incredibly grateful for that gig. I loved every single person on the set, behind the camera, in front of the camera. I still like think about those guys. I miss those guys, and of course, Priyanka Chopra was fantastic. I loved every second of working with her. Would work with her on anything in the future. Um, the, you know, everyone, Blair, like everyone was so good, man. I have only fond memories from that gig, and it was. I was just. It was a. You know, I welcomed that gig into my life for like many, many different reasons. It it kind of helped me out in so many different ways of uh, my life at that time mm -hmm. that I, in ways that I couldn't have planned if I wanted to, you know, so I have a very, very soft spot in my heart for everyone associated with that show. And working on the show was really great. Mm -hmm. I loved every single second of it. All the directors I, mean, I worked with was fantastic. What what stands out besides the personal relationships and the, and the welcoming great set? What was uh, one thing that stood out about your character that you really enjoyed delving into? Um, I enjoyed, I really enjoyed the fact that it was, there were a lot of parallels in my life and around and with that character and my life at that time, you know. Um, it was really interesting because I was a new newbie in the group. Mm -hmm. So I was like a newbie in, in my character as well as in the show, like right. you know. So that so that dynamic was kind of already there. I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed um, the, the like the last episode that I uh, uh, do before leaving for right. uh, to 
kids. Hopefully that wasn't like real life. Your best friend had no, not been murdered. No, 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 no. Yeah, hopefully but, that part wasn't real. <laughs> no, but that was uh, like that. That was that was really good. And just they were, they're a lot, man. I mean, I mean, every day was like a special day for me on that set. I just, I love like being on set, and it was like everything. I just felt really, really good about it. Um, from what I remember. It's, it's a good time. Unfortunately, ABC did cancel the show after mm. the season. Were there talks about you coming back if a fourth season had moved on, or? I think I think I think ABC canceled it before that could even happen. Like like the talks could even happen. I think yeah. so, but but I didn't I didn't know about it. Um, yeah, I think that's what happened. Now you have two episodes that have aired under your belt mm -hmm. on New Amsterdam. Mm -hmm. Uh, you're playing the estranged son mm -hmm. this time around. New look, mm -hmm. facial hair, yeah, unrecognizable for the Quantico fans. Yeah. Uh, what's been your experience like there? I know you're recurring now on this show, and you've filmed subsequent episodes of what we've seen as viewers. So, what's this experience been like for you and playing, you know, yeah. quite a different character than you were playing on Quantico? No, it's been really good, man. Again, like I love everyone on set. Everyone is really, really great. I'm, I'm having a wonderful time working with Anna Care. He's a legend. Mm -hmm. I mean, to say he's a legend is kind of an understatement, you know. And, and he, I'm learning so much from him, and it's truly a wonderful gift to work with him. And that show, everyone is so good. Um, everyone is wonderful. I love the writers on the show. Mm -hmm. They're writing such wonderful scripts. They're kind of breaking all these stereotypes and all these preconceived notions that we have mm -hmm. about characters that we see on TV. I get to play someone who wouldn't be necessarily seen in a South Asian light on TV. Mm -hmm. Like I'm on a medical drama and I'm right. not playing a doctor. You know, that's uh, that's something really great that these writers have written, written such a it's, it's a complex relationship between mm -hmm. a father and a son and and you don't see that a lot on TV especially in, in, in South Asian families even though there are examples of that um, so I'm, I'm kind of trying to soak in as much as I can and I'm really this character is quite different from Quantico is what it's very it's quite the opposite and I'm, I'm really good I'm really glad I get to like stretch that muscle and try right. to like use different things and and play someone entirely different I really am have you been able to um, play other roles other than South Asian uh, mm -hmm. characters? Uh, yeah. You don't. You could pass as Greek. I mean, yeah. there's a well, Italian. You can pass for, you know, a um, bunch of different ethnicities. So I I may not have played different ethnicities besides maybe different like uh, various South Asian roles. Like I played an Indian guy versus and I'm playing a Middle Eastern per guy. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like within the South Asian uh, diaspora, I have I played like different different characters but I've also played for a lack of better word you know I've, I've played like Joe Smith and you know what I mean like right. just average regular American people who have nothing to do with uh, South Asia or India mm -hmm. or anything like that I've been I've been I've been blessed with those opportunities as well that's great yeah an actor is an actor it shouldn't yeah matter. I mean, shouldn't matter what your nationality yeah. is you should be up for every yeah day. well you know within I mean within reason obviously, sure but sure but you know sure. it shouldn't be shouldn't Absolutely. be about that no but I've been I've been very lucky people, I've been very grateful to work with some really great people who have given me some wonderful mm -hmm. opportunities to to stretch myself like and think of myself beyond than just like a South Asian actor or right. like an Indian actor or whatnot, you know. Now, now that you've found success on television, do you have an itch to go back since you live in New York to doing theater? Would you, is there a certain show you would like to, to be in? Would you put your own production up of something since there are so many theaters here in New York that yeah. that opportunity could present itself. I would love to go back to theater in, in you know in time and if the right project came along like absolutely no doubt like theaters and theaters like in my blood you know mm -hmm. and I love acting like I love it whether it be in, in front of the camera or it be on stage like I love different parts of it so absolutely like without a doubt. Nice. Yeah. Uh, after New Amsterdam uh, you got, are you going to currently be on all season, or do you not know at this point? Um, as of now, you're still taping, so yeah, I'm still that's taping. a good sign. <laughs> as long as they keep calling me, I'll and you're, keep yeah, that's out. right. You're a, you're yeah. the son of a long running or a series regular, so yeah. that's a no. The that's also I would a good love sign. to. I would love to be in every episode. Mm -hmm. You know, the right. I love the writers. I love everyone I work with on the show. So I, I would love to be on that set as much as possible. No doubt. No doubt. 
that. Perfect. Well, I appreciate you taking time to do this interview. It's been a real pleasure and uh, look forward to seeing you on screen more and perhaps one day on stage here in New York. Thanks for reaching out, man. Thank appreciate you. It.